are UT and other Philippine universities losing their competitive edge with the rest of the schools around the world? Carla David reports now on the low ranking of the country's top universities in the world's top 500 list. Two universities from the Philippines have made it to the top 500 schools in the world. The 2007 Times Higher Education World University Rankings lists Harvard, Oxford, and Cambridge as the top three schools in the world. University of the Philippines is 398th, while Ateneo is 451st. De La Salle University, who used to be in the top 500, dropped out of the list, finishing 519th. UST is 535th. Though number one in the country, UP is ambivalent about the results of the survey. There are criteria na in number of international faculty, number of international students. We are a little bit of a because we have a I do not wish to be defensive, but for example, if we have additional slots, Eh, siguro ay ibibigay muna namin yon sa mga Pilipino dahil kami ay state university. Ateneo feels the same way, saying the rankings are based more on perception and less on actual achievements of its faculty and students. 40% of the criteria is based on peer review or the perception of other universities. Only 20% goes to the quality of researches turned in by its faculty, 20% to faculty to student ratio, 10% for graduate employability, and another 10% for the number of international students and faculty. Hindi nakikita doon kung anong klaseng mga pinuno ang nanggagaling doon sa pamantasan yun. Hindi nakikita doon kung ano yung kalidad ng pag-iisip ng mga tao. Compared to other Asian countries, the Philippines also has the fewest. India has eight universities in the list. Thailand has five and Indonesia has three, all of which rank higher than UP. Hindi ako naniniwala na nag-deteriorate. Siguro sa akin ay hirap lang tayong humabol sa kanila. Kasi nga, kakulangan ng pondo. Cara David, reporting on Q.